Hello guys, I'm back with a tutorial and I'm doing a rocked out St. Patrick's Day look. If you want to know how I did this look, stay tuned and keep on watching. With my soft ochre paint pot, I just apply it with my fingers. I find it easier that way, so just on the lid. Up into the crease. So once we have that in place, I'm going to take my 239 brush and my Aquavert eyeshadow from MAC and I'm just, just going to apply it on the lid. I'm going to take my humid eyeshadow, which is a pretty dark green with a little bit of shimmer. I'm just going to put it in a brush and tap it off. And I'm going to place it on the outer crease. We're going to worry about the blending a little later. It's going to take a little bit more and tap it off. And put it on the inner corner. Just a little bit area. And just balance it up. Once we have both in place, as you can see, it's not even in, in the blending. It's not that... Um, great but we're gonna worry about that later we're just gonna put all the colors in place for now okay so after that I'm gonna take my elf blending brush and I'm gonna take my typographic eyeshadow which is a, a lighter version of carbon I'm just gonna take that on the brush and just tap it off and put it on the outer corner to make it a little bit darker. And then I'm going to take a 224 brush. I'm using Sigma's 224 and just blend the hard edges of those two corners on the middle. The middle part just stand out a little bit more like this one so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my 239 oops sorry wrong brush my 239 and I'm gonna dip it on the soft ochre paint pot and just warm it up on my hands and just pat it on top of it of the of the middle one where the aquavert is showing Okay, after patting the soft ochre on the middle part, I'm going to take my 239 again and I'm just going to take my Aquavert, my light green color. I think that's from the Sugar Sweet Collection and it's a pretty color. I love it. Um, excuse me for the noise in the background. My auntie has visitors and I'm just in the hallway so you can see. Because it is the better lighting in the house. It has the better lighting in the house. So I'm just going to pat Aquavert in the middle where I put in the soft ochre. Just like that to make it brighter so you can see you can see the difference from earlier. Okay, to make it even brighter, I'm going to take white frost. It's a sh I think it's that. And I'm just going to put it on top of the Aquavert to make it brighter. Oops. All right. So now it's time for us to blend the harsh lines. So I'm going to take the 224 again and just blend it.
just like that. I'm gonna take Kid. It's a matte light brown color. I'm gonna take it on top of the brush and just tap it off as always. And I'm just gonna blend it on the crease like that. Alright, it's making the crease softer and blending on the natural color of my eye. Okay, once that's done, I'm gonna take a flat eye, shade, eye shading brush and I love to use my e.l.f. one. I'm gonna take Ploof. Ploof, I think. PH. Ploof. Ploof by MAC. And I'm just gonna put it on the on the eye brush. And put it on my brow bone. Like that. As you can see it's a little bit harsh right now, but the blending will come later. I'm gonna have it covered. I'm gonna take a pencil brush. I'm using Essence of Beauty. I love this brush. And I'm gonna dip it on my soft ochre paint pot. And warm it on my hands as usual. And just put it on the lower lid. Then I'm gonna dip it on humid to line my lower lid. I love humid, it's so pretty. And then I'm gonna take typographic to make it darker and even on what I have on my outer crease. Okay, now I have that. I'm gonna take Aquavert. I'm just take the 239, dip it on my Aquavert, and put it on my inner tear duct. I'm just on the upper part as well. 